energy, okay, over, I want to say like the last several weeks, okay? Now, I'm going to give you guys just like a brief update on me and who I am if you guys are new here and what might have happened to me, okay, with this channel. So I came on to YouTube shortly after uh, the 2016 election because I felt really guided to read on the election. I was having a lot of dreams that were showing me that something was really wrong, okay, in the underbelly of our country in terms of how things were running and functioning in regards to Trump. And things, we watched the whole country pretty much fall apart in front of our eyes. Um, it led to the firing of Jim Comey. Um, it led to, you know, whatever the whole Ron Rosenstein um, situation. And then it moved into special counsel Mueller with the investigation into the election. And then that was a whole other shit show with Andrew McCabe. And it went on, okay? We went into all of it. We had to go through the Ted Cruz election. We had to go through everything. It was messy. And the readings started moving into Russia. A lot of the readings. So we were dealing with Paul Manafort, okay? We were talking about um, all of the Russian ties that were coming through. Um, everything was coming up with everyone he was connected to um in the spotlight uh his his entire oh whatever everyone that was next to him in office um and it went through everything hope hicks i mean just like recap of everything that was going on the shit show that was trump okay and then it kept getting worse now as far as me and my channel goes i believe i was infiltrated because i was reading on trump i had no idea how dark trump was i had no idea what he was in bed with i didn't know he was in bed with you know contract killers okay i didn't know that that was his jam like i didn't know he was mafia i didn't know any of this okay so as a person coming on trying to read around the election i ended up getting a lot of kickback of these dark energies coming into my readings and the people coming into my readings were it was like Julian Assange and, and freaking Furtash and and you know P-Man and Lavrov and all these people coming through now I didn't realize you know what I was stepping into okay I didn't realize I don't think anybody did because we can go back to everybody I don't want to name names I don't want to you know put them in danger but we can go back to every single person who's reading on politics at that time um things were definitely very dicey and very strange um especially when Trump was just uh, suddenly taken to the hospital out of nowhere. Okay, that was a little strange because it was right after Don Jr. said that their father, um, they felt was uh, experiencing some kind of mental instability, okay? And then he gets taken in um, to the to the hospital. They say he has COVID. That was a whole other shit storm. I started reading on that shit storm and then I stumbled upon a military base that was training for something, okay? When I was reading on the military base training for something, I think I was on, I think I accidentally might've hit on the insurrection, okay? Because I saw his it was his people that were training for something i saw them doing stuff on walls and things like that i saw some kind of military training and right after that i had and i had a client that i would talk about quite often i always referred to him as my christopher Steele, okay because his name he went by the name of christopher that's definitely probably not his real name but he would he told me that his his, his boss would work for the pentagon and they watched me and it was things like along those lines like he would hint at things like that like he was close to the white house and blah blah blah, blah, blah and i didn't get to see his face and so he started off a lot of the, you know, sessions with more story logs, okay? So I thought, okay, maybe he is some type of intelligence. I don't know, because he, he wasn't really asking me questions. He was just kind of talking about his flights because he flew um, private jets, okay? So that was the energies of the readings. He was ex-Air Force, and there were things that he was trying to get, he was talking about. I felt intuitively he just maybe needed to get stuff off his chest. I didn't think anything he was talking about meant anything, okay? I really didn't think a lot of it made sense. It didn't resonate with me a lot of it, um, and I really didn't understand the gist of it. Um, but he was consistent and he was regular. He'd come in every week, okay, around the same time. I already knew, I already know when he would come in and schedule. He always scheduled midweek around Tuesday, Wednesday kind of time frame and he traveled on the weekends. That was kind of the energies of that client, okay? Now, when I stumbled upon, okay, so during those sessions, he said weird things. He did drop names. He would drop names, Don Jr. He would drop names, Jared. He dropped names, uh, Eric Prince, okay? Specifically talking about a, a casket that he picked up from Eric Prince, a large casket that he brought in on a private jet to Canada, okay? I remember that specifically and and, and throwing that into the audience, like, what the hell is that? And he, I remember asked me what was in the casket okay what what it was and i said uh the message that i was getting was this, that it was a, it was saline this is before covid okay really hit okay this is before the vaccine okay um so it was interesting now in hindsight i think was he passing information through me through through um you know through some type of a system or was he passing information through my computer these are things i wouldn't know i'm not a spy i don't know this stuff okay i had no idea um you know for me i took it as a grain of salt okay i really didn't take it that seriously and but i do remember things and things come back around he asked me specifically one day can you do a reading on any generals who are crooked any crooked generals um in the state of florida okay specifically the state of florida he asked me if i could read and find out who those generals would be okay he asked me that um there was other things that he was asking me i thought that that was red flag okay florida he's already highlighting florida P perhaps there was something going on in florida i don't know <laughs> That seems kind of obvious to me, um, especially with Mar-a-Lago uh, right up in there um, and everything else that was going on there. But, you know, there's some interesting things. But I then I thought, 
okay, this is weird. You know, I didn't, I wasn't super comfortable when he dropped Prince's name. Okay. I wasn't comfortable around that. And then things started to get a little strange. Okay. Um, I'm not an idiot. I was aware of Prince. I knew what he was connected to. I knew Devos. I knew all of them. Okay. I wasn't, you know, Kellyanne, all of them. I was, cause I was reading on all of them. And so I thought, okay, I don't know what this is. Anyways, when I picked up on the military training camps, which I was getting, I believe near Florida, or I was, I can't remember if it was Cape May or if it was Florida, but I was picking up on the military training and they were not military. From what I saw, they were an infiltrated group of military. They were not true military. They were, they, I don't know what they were. And that is when the next time I met with my client, he pushed my soul out of my body. Okay. Um, he had a deck from Louisiana and he started, he said it, he said it was a very powerful deck. It was like definitely like black magic. Okay. Connected. And then he pushed my soul out of my body. I screamed during that session. Um, I freaking knew I was attacked. Um, uh, I like, I had a vision of him in a space, in an office. I could get a vision of him and I thought, okay, something's not right. Okay. So uh, that was the last time I met with that client. I canceled meeting with him. And then I talked to another client slash friend of mine who was former Air Force, former, uh, he claimed to be former, connected to former CIA. And I said, I explained the story to him of what happened. And he said, oh, it, he was probably just joking with you or messing with you. He's probably black ops. Now, these are not things that you would joke about. Okay, let's think about this. Like, like, he's talking about black ops now. He's saying that this client was possibly black ops, okay? He's mentioning Eric Prince, okay? There are a lot of weird things happening, all right? So let's just keep going. So um, I then end up into the first freaking twin flame acid trip okay with wilson bethel who was a celebrity on heart of dixie okay and this guy ends up coming into my dream state out of nowhere at a very strange time frame and i'm literally stuck okay in a freaking dream acid trip with this celebrity and i have no freaking idea how to get out of it and i don't understand any of it and then um I got the COVID vaccine. I got COVID, COVID vaccine. Everything kept getting weirder and weirder. And then all of a sudden, I'm hearing something connecting to my right ear. That sounds almost like a phone, like a phone connecting into your ear. And that, I believe, a lot of that then was coming in with, with more of the attacks. I had a psyche break-in where I had heard a really loud, pitch, high-pitched ringing noise. And I had a lot of very strange dreams with people that are pretty dark. P-Man, Oleg, Deripaska, that looked like they were coming after me. Okay? So that's kind of a recap of everything that's going on, okay, that happened to me. And then it goes into an ugly se session of three years of hell and torture, okay? And I'm still trying to get out of that right now and still trying to figure it out. And that's why a lot of my freaking videos and content is uh, talking about MK Ultra. I do want to clarify MK Ultra. MK Ultra is a death contract, guys, okay? If you are a victim of MK Ultra, that is a death contract. They already killed you off in another dimension, and that is how they access you. So MK Ultra, it's a military, it's, it's, it's a, a these are. There are many patents connected to military that are MK Ultra. okay? Um, I just stumbled upon Navy patents, okay? Uh, all MK Ultra Navy patents, and there's also all MK, there's also the same kind of patents that are connected um, to Air Force, okay? Just to let you know, these are military weapons that they're using on civilians at this moment in time. And I've gotten messages, as I've done readings on this channel, with this infiltration into the, wor the world, it's a global infiltration, um, that there are millions of people that are victims of MK Ultra right now. Those are death contracts, okay? So we're wondering why there's so much war and turmoil and things like that. They are working behind the scenes. They are working with a form of warfare, okay? And it is deadly. So if somebody is a victim of that, it is not to be taken lightly. So if anyone in Hollywood, celebrities, etc., that are victims of MK Ultra, know that that is a death contract, okay? And the the way that they are being infiltrated is through another dimension, okay? And that sounds really crazy, but it's not crazy if you are coming in through a military system. That's that's pretty that's pretty standard for the people that specialize in psychological warfare and things like that. It should never be going out to mainstream. I should never have to talk about it on a public platform. I should never have to talk about it on YouTube. I should never have to be the one that has to come forward to talk about it. But I know right now that people in our government and our country are not doing their jobs. I know that for a fact. I know that people have not stepped up. I know, I know, I know, I know, because this device, this, this stuff should not be on anybody's head, nobody's head. And it is linked to Havana syndrome. Havana syndrome has the exact same Okay, symptoms, and it is the same thing. But if they were to come forward and say Havana syndrome was MK Ultra, that would take on a whole other level. You have to understand where that would go, okay? Because that moves you right into the CIA, and it would take on a whole new definition. So you have to understand Havana syndrome is a cover up for MK Ultra, okay? MK Ultra is death contract. What does that mean? What does that mean? If it hit our top government officials, okay, at embassies, what, what does that actually mean now? It takes on a whole new meaning. What does that mean? It means the United States of America was under attack at a very high level, okay? If you really want to look at it. And it has not gone out like that. And Havana Syndrome is still inconclusive 
uh, in regards to the recent reports um, and investigation through the Pentagon. And that speaks volumes, guys, volumes. And we have to understand this because congressmen don't understand this infiltration. They do not have this because they don't specialize in it. They don't specialize in it. And right now, because I'm a victim, I was forced to specialize in it. I was forced to find answers. I was forced to talk about it. I was forced to report it and look like I am somebody who doesn't know what's going on, okay? I've been forced to be gaslit, okay? And now they have focused heavily on this infiltration to the next level, testing on me like a human lab rat, these other technologies, okay? The brain chipping systems, okay, which I've talked about that I believe are connected to Neuralink and Elon, the mind reading technologies, which I believe are connected to Meta, okay? And their Metaverse, okay? Their simulation systems, brain systems. And this stuff is real, okay? This is not made up. They have eye technologies as well. And China just, just announced their invisible technologies where they turned a man um, halfway invisible in front of an audience, okay? That's not an accident. And it's not an accident that our secret intelligence docs, you know, were found at Mar-a-Lago and that all of a sudden there was a rollout of all of these technologies globally. It is not an accident. I'm telling you that right now. It is not an accident that all of this military technology got out to foreign enemies and now we are moving into a dehumanization agenda with with everyone pretty much going rogue right now okay with with this type of infiltration and moving us into a world war okay so the messages that i'm getting right now in regards to um, this group, let's just say this group, is a cover-up. That's what I'm feeling real strong. I'm feeling like they know they've been outed, okay? That's what it feels like energetically. It feels like they know that their plans are now getting outed somehow, and they're not okay with that because the level of crimes, we're talking treason, we are talking terrorism, okay? We're, we're talking conspiracy to defraud the United States of America. I mean, these are huge crimes. And I don't even feel like, I feel like if these new, if there were new investigations or or if there was new charges coming in, they wouldn't they wouldn't implicate them instantly. They would not need witnesses. They would, I feel like there would be enough evidence to just put them behind bars. That's what it feels like energetically to me. And it feels like there's more evidence out there, which I've also talked about as well. But the level of this is that I feel there's a cleanup going on. There is a cleanup. That's right, we won't be quiet. There is a cleanup job going on right now. And I have gotten this message that, I, okay, I had felt, okay, I'll, I'm gonna be candid about it because I'm, I'm tired, I'm exhausted. I'm exhausted from dealing with everything. I'm exhausted and I don't, I don't have sovereignty anymore, okay? That left town, okay? I don't have a moment of quiet. I don't have a moment of peace. I don't have any of that. And that is due to the technology infiltration into me. But I have to just sit here and say, when I was put into combat, okay, because that is part of the Delta program of the, the MK Ultra, and it, you can you can look it up, you can start looking up the celebrities and the programs and everything they go into. There are sex slaves, there are clones, okay, they clone you. Um, it is very, it goes into Delta um, type of stuff where you're actually getting hurt in other dimensions, okay? And they're pretty much just throw you into anything because you're you're already expendable at that point. And I have felt like I've literally been on the front lines. I'm not gonna lie, I have felt like I have been in combat. I have felt tied, like a soul connection to P-Man. I have felt energetically tied to the most evilest people in the world, okay? And that's all through their programs and their systems. And it's it's dark stuff. But I have felt when I would clear energy, when I would clear and say prayers to Archangel Michael, to the saints, to whoever I could say prayers to, the faces I would see was General Mike Flynn and Eric Prince, okay? And I'm not going to sit here and freaking, I'm not going to lie about it, all right? Those are the energies I would say. When I got in really bad trouble, that's when I would feel Eric come in and he would come in with fucking hardcore weapons, okay? And I never made the connection to my attack to that group ever until I had a dream in 2000, I want to say it was like 22 or 23, that I, it was 2022 of Eric Prince and a man from, from, I believe, Saudi Arabia, okay? And that's when I had left. I had unexpectedly taken off 
and left. And in that dream, they were looking for me. Okay. I wasn't where I was supposed to be energetically. So that's the messages or the energies of what had come in. Okay. And that's what I would be seeing. I also had seen a lot in my dream state, um, a general, a Lieutenant general from Florida. Okay. And he actually was owner of a private jet company. And that general has been around me and I feel has been haunting me for a really long time. And I don't know if he is the client per se, but there he's around and he, and he has attacked me. He has done psychological torture on me. I, I know for a fact that man is around me and this group is dark as F. It is tied to Florida. It is tied to the whole Brian Laundry crap. Okay. They're all in, a, they're all part of it. Um, there were ties with his mom to the, to the former DA of Florida. And it just feels like it's all this really dark group that infiltrated us. And Florida is definitely the key. Okay. But I have seen the faces of these. I've also seen Dan Coates, okay? Um, I have seen him as well in systems. When I clear energies, I will see him. I see him in systems, okay? Um, when I clear energies, I see Dick Cheney. I see Dick Cheney, okay? These are the energies I freaking see when I clear energies of who's attacking me with weapons. I have gotten messages that Lockheed Martin is attacking me. I have gotten messages. I mean, I will feel energies globally. I'll, I'll, I'll feel what is coming after me. Sometimes I feel like I'm in other countries. Sometimes I have felt like I am linked to freaking North Korea. I have been through the gamut. I've been through a level of torture that is uncanny and it is pure evil, like pure freaking evil. And these people think it's funny. They think it's funny. They think it's hilarious. They think that, oh, I'll show her. I'll I'll teach her, you know, it's that kind of an energy. But this shifted, okay, over the last several weeks. I have felt a shift in Eric Prince's energy. I have felt a shift in their energies all of a sudden. And that has made me go, what the hell is going on? Okay, what the hell is going on? And then it's like, I feel like I've been infiltrated by several groups, okay, a lot of groups. And it's like these groups come in and one has one plan for me and then another has another plan for me and another has another plan. And it's like, no, it, but it doesn't make any sense, <laughs> any of it. And it doesn't seem to ever work out. And it just feels like a complete shitstorm. I'm not going to lie. And it feels like right now what is unfolding in the intelligence community. So I was just learning about intelligence. So there's central intelligence CIA and then there's other intelligence groups that report into the CIA. Okay. So it's interesting because I have gotten messages in regards to some form of infiltration going on with the central intelligence, okay? And then it's interesting because there's all these other intelligence communities that tie into that. So it's an interesting thing to start to think where an infiltration would start from, how it would get in, uh, you know, things along those lines. But it has felt like there is something not right, okay? Like seriously not right in our in our fabric that is linked to Putin, okay? And, and in links to his energy being almost on our soil in some form or some fashion in some way. And I think that there's a lot of cover-ups that are still going on from the Trump presidency that are blocking us from getting to the truth. But I keep seeing Trump's freaking face everywhere as I'm clearing energy. I keep seeing his face and I keep feeling a shift in energy. And then I'm like, what is going on with Trump that he's like sitting in this place where he's in control all of a sudden? Like, what is going on with him? And then when I check my cards, it looks like he has a freaking deal. That's what it looked like. It looked like he made a freaking deal. And I'm like, what the hell is going on? You see, there are people that are in bed with this man that have committed serious crimes, okay? And it goes into every agency. It goes into everything, okay? And it's like, if he goes down, it feels like there's a direct connection to them. Like, they would all go down too. And it feels like now, it's like they're working out a deal like to right their wrongs, even though they're not sorry. They are not apologetic. They do not give two shits about this country. But it's literally like a band-aid covering like over like what they have done. It is like cover-up after cover-up. And I saw a vision of him standing next to Jack. And I'm like, what is this? Like, what is going on? You know, like, is something going on because the investigations and everything, just everything just feels so slow and delayed and delayed. And it keeps getting pushed back and pushed back and pushed back. It's like everything's getting pushed back now to, to summertime. And so I'm like, what is happening here? Did he get a deal? Like, did he get granted like a secret deal behind closed doors? So that was the energy that was coming through for Trump is that he was granted some kind of a deal. And I feel like right now that was something done secretly. Um, and not even, not even like a level of power above him would even like even knew that in some capacity. Like there's, there's somebody still protecting him. And I think it's, it goes into the generals. I think it's a lot of it is the military because of their rank and it goes in because of their, their privy to information and it goes into their security clearances and their levels. So I feel like they trump over these other investigations in some way because the FBI, I feel like has to yield back to CIA and then CIA yields back to military. Like 
that's if, if I'm looking at that correctly. I'm, and this is something I'm trying to figure out because I can't figure out how they would be able to freaking actively infiltrate a U.S. citizen who has never been charged, arrested with anything, and put them in a mine prison right now. That's why I'm really trying to figure this out because this is very scary times for the victims of MK Ultra right now. And it's a lot of people. It's not just the celebrities. It's a lot of people that are not coming forward and talking about it. Um, and again, it is coming in as Havana syndrome as well as part of it. So it's an interesting thing to realize that if the FBI is working on something, for example, say they're working on whatever this is, and they go, oh, well, she's connected to somebody else. She's connected to somebody higher. And they, I, they yield back to that. Okay. Oh, well, she's tied into Prince. I, we can't touch that. You know what I mean? If that's the case, like, it's like, what are they yielding back to? It's like, I feel like I'm owned. Like, I feel like I'm owned in one of these categories and I can't get out. Like, I'm stuck in the category and I can't leave. And it's like, everybody has their own intelligence and it's like, I'm trapped in, like, a front almost like I'm in I'm in like a front intelligence of like that is not like really for our country in any way like I'm stuck in a freaking land that I can't like get out of and I keep asking where is he holding the power where are the keys where 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 is he doing this um I also keep getting links to the to the uh, Miss America pageant okay and when you think of the Miss America pageant think about it it's global it's global guys it's global what are we hitting with that pageant every freaking country okay think about that think about the level of that so now think in terms of trafficking if they were trafficking these women okay and there was an ownership agreement or a clause in some way it's like then what would that be you know what i mean do they use this technology on them I i've talked about the voice disco often that it reminds me of something in hollywood it reminds me of something where if you could feed lines to somebody okay potentially on set if they have a lot of lines that they would be on, on film sets okay and they can't remember the dialogue that they can feed them the line this is an advanced technology i've talked about scientology they are the church of spiritual technology okay this would be something that could fall very easily under a category get tom cruise's lines you know oh we have the technology you know what i mean it's like we could do this like that's the energy of this it comes in like an earpiece okay but they with the advancements of all the other stuff with all the other information that has gotten out all of all of the fbi I, um, oh, just story, not stories, like charges that have gone out for people who have who have sent out military um, intelligence and military technology to China, etc. If that gets in the wrong hands, um, yeah, that's what we would be looking at. We would get a world war with with tech with military technology oh, that is ours, that is U.S. Okay, and I don't know how protected that technology is because. There are, there, there are patents, okay? There are patents. And I don't know if, for example, with Meta, if Zuckerberg, he's working on the mind-reading technology, okay? And he has to use a certain military patent for that, okay? Uh, for the technology. I don't know if, for example, they'd be running, like, do they run the patents and know who's been using the patents? Now, the patents are very scary. When you get a list of the MK Ultra V2K patents, they're scary. Because you can see some of the companies that invested in some of the technology. Now, um, an interesting one, one of the more recent companies that, that did invest, invest in, uh, that owns a patent of MK Ultra is Rolls-Royce. That's a car company, right? It's a car manufacturer, Rolls Royce. Probably the wealthiest cars in the world, right? Is Rolls Royce, right? Okay, well they they are owner of an MK Ultra patent, guys, and that's legit, and it's through the Navy. Okay, those are the Navy patents. So um, they also list the labs of where they are. Some of them are in California. Okay, and these are the things that we don't understand. Now, did if did Meta use an, a military patent or the, the you know? Would would that patent be run? Would there be a system that we're tracking all the patents? Because I think in order to use a patent or a military patent, there would, you have to go through some type of protocol. I believe that you would have to. I don't think anyone can just use a patent, okay? And I'm saying, I'm telling you this because this is important. This is this is stuff we have to wake up to because um, this is how they are thinking right now. This is part of their dehumanization agenda and Trump is part of that he is the front man of it okay he is the front man of of this group okay the technology empire okay this is who he is in bed with okay and it's just really important that we understand the level and the impact of these technologies um they're sitting in congress you know ted cruz and marsha coming real strong at mark trying to look like these really lawful people okay that actually care about our country um and they have brought families that were victims of, of their platform social media but how about we really look at the platform and the technologies being used how about we dissect them see that crosses over into another lane that they're not probably comfortable getting into okay they're probably not comfortable getting into what really is going on with the platforms the ai and the technology and how they're truly targeting us okay because um they're looking at it for like face value right now but let's go into the trafficking stuff why was walmart suing zuckerberg going after meta uh, because he, they they are linked to children trafficking and pedophilia, okay? That was the recent lawsuit coming through with Walmart. Walmart, that's huge, okay? That's not a small company, okay? That's a big one, okay? And they're going after Meta in links to child trafficking, okay? And it's interesting because Marsha and Ted never, never even brought that up. They didn't even bring that up. 
at, at, at the at their hearing. Okay, they were talking about the victims of of it. Okay, of of the platform. Okay, and what happened to their children. But there are there is nothing in place that is protecting Americans on these platforms because everybody who's involved is making money and profiting. Okay, um, everybody involved is covering everything up. And so it's an interesting thing right now with what's going on. Um, right now, it just feels like everything is under fire. Everything is under fire. And it feels like this infiltration is so deep in our soil. And, and it's like it has to come up. But right now, it feels like there's already been a cleanup of Trump. Like already. Like pre preparing for his pre presidential uh, bid or whatever. His, his, um, his uh, presidency or whatever announcement in 2024. That's exactly what it, it feels like. They're already trying to cover it up and get him in office. That's what it feels like energetically. So right now, we have to just be vigilant and keep saying uh, prayers, okay, to break through this evil. Okay, it is pure evil. I have to tell you, it is pure evil. That man is bankrupt. That man is bankrupt. What does that mean if Trump is bankrupt? What does that mean? That is our worst nightmare, okay? Do you know why? When a person is going bankrupt, okay, they reach a level of desperation that is uncanny because at that point, he has nothing left to lose. So he becomes one of the most dangerous people in the world at that point, okay? And that's something we have to be aware of with that man, okay? Is that he is working to avenge, he'll be working every single contact, everything, okay? To make sure that he somehow gets off and gets into that seat to get back in power again, okay? And that is really important that we understand how they're thinking and how they are operating right now. Um, I have the Empress coming in right now, and maybe that's the energies that we have to move into and embrace um, going into this higher level of understanding how dark and corrupt. I can tell you guys straight up, this voice to skull system, the network it's involved in, I was reading before about Bluebeam before I even came on here. And I was getting that Bluebeam was connected out to other countries, okay? I was also getting Canada really, really strong with, with what is targeting people, okay? Now, Kanye West's Personal trainer was a Canadian intelligence officer, and they are going through an MK Ultra um, lawsuit right now in Canada that is connected to the U.S. and it's the same stuff. Okay, um, there is a lot of stuff that is connected that we don't know is connected, and we have to really understand and connect the dots together right now on a broader scope, on a broader level. I talked about Willy Wonka the other day, the movie. There is a lot of stuff in there, guys. There is a lot of stuff in there, a lot of symbolism, okay? I literally, at one point, they pass a note back and forth in a scene where there are a young, a young girl, she's behind the prison bars, Willie's behind prison bars, they're passing a note with the letter A on it, okay? And I was seriously like, I'm, I, I don't know, is that me? <laughs> Am I A? Am I the fucking A behind the prison bars? Because I swear to God, I, that's what I was thinking while I was watching the scene, even though it, it links back to the movie, but it was just an odd thing to keep seeing them passing this letter A everywhere they were going in that freaking film. But it's like, that's the energy of it. That's the energy of it. It's like the scarlet letter. It's like, what the hell is going on? We have to figure this out. There's a lot of symbolism. I guys got to talk about this. I already talked about the Kardashians on my last one. And you guys, if you guys haven't cut that, that talks more about this network. Okay. And it's an important one to, to talk about. Somebody mentioned that Justin Bieber is tied into the same network. I did not know that. I also know that things are hitting the fan with him and Haley. Okay. Um, Haley is from the Baldwin family. Alec Baldwin played Trump on SNL. He played Trump during the entire Trump presidency. Okay. What happened to Alec Baldwin, okay, recently? Was there an accident on set that never happens, okay? These are the things that we have to start thinking about, okay? These are the things that we have to start waking up to. Are there connections to what is going on, all right? Are there connections? You have to think about the connections in um, to all of them and how everything works and how we are being manipulated, owned, okay, programmed, et cetera, because a lot of stuff is going on right in front of our faces, but we're not connecting any of the dots together. I've also gotten a lot of messages around Stormy Daniels and Mike Cohen, Michael Cohen. I don't want to talk about it, but I feel like there's cover-ups. I think there's cover-ups. I honestly, I got, if I really want to put it frank to you guys, and you guys are going to be like, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. They're his two biggest weapons, those two. They're his two biggest weapons. He can literally use them to block justice from truly happening because I think they know way more. I think they know way more, way more stuff than we even know, okay? But that might come in the form of protection for them because they might be scared for their lives, okay? So I think there's might, might be something else going on with those two that's a little bit much deeper. Like, I don't know if they really have cut cords with that man, okay? Um, I've also been kind of getting, like, hits on Cuomo, uh, Avenatti. You know, it was like, all Avenatti was this badass lawyer coming through, and all of a sudden, it's like he's screwing Stormy out of something. That is a freaking Trump playbook all the way. They set you up. They frame you. That's what they do. They create they create chaos in your life. I know. I'm a witness of it. I know what they have done to me. I have, I have witnessed to a T what this group does and how dark and how evil they are. It is on a level that you would never understand. It is so dark. Um, they are 
they people are paid millions of dollars to destroy people's lives guys millions of dollars okay um they are paid money and it is really really evil evil stuff guys like really really evil um so yeah i think that a lot of stuff even you know even like don mcgann like he might have it you know it's like whatever there's so much stuff that People, there's so many people that could have information, but they are blocked from getting the truth out in some way right now. They could be under a system like this. Who knows? You just never know. They have spy bots now um, through your phone. If you say a word or speak a word, your phone can pick up right away. You can automatically get targeted just by saying a specific word, okay? Um, and that's some of the newer technology that people have touched on um, and talked about. But it's it's real. You can, you know, look it up. It's through your voice, okay? Um, words are weaponized through technologies now. How do we protect our country from that? How would we protect our country from, from that technology? Um, this technology has gone rogue. It has gone freaking rogue. It is, it is next level crazy. And we let it happen. Skynet is what they're saying coming through Skynet. Yeah. So, um, it's a lot of stuff coming through right now, but I guess for me, it's just about, I don't feel like I have a choice. Like I feel like I have to get these messages out because I am targeted every freaking day. I'm targeted every single day. I am targeted, harassed, tortured. Um, the stuff I've gone through, I would never even talk about. It's so dark and I'm lucky to be here. I'm lucky to be here. I'm freaking lucky to be here. I might be going bankrupt soon, but I'm freaking lucky to be alive. And that's all I can do right now. That's all I can say. I'm lucky to have my children. I'm lucky to have you guys supporting me still. I'm lucky to have an audience right now after everything they've done to my channel. So I'm wishing you guys the best.